So today, guys, I want to talk about a great date experience for you as women and what it takes, what mental state you should be putting yourself into. And I get that this is a very important question that women are asking themselves, either when they come out of the relationship or after the divorce. Should I go out? Should I be putting myself out there? I'm really afraid, they're saying, of getting hurt. What should I do and what should I be thinking? So my answer to you is the following, that especially if you just had a relationship, you need uh, to take the time to heal. There is this uh, mental picture, if you will, to uh, adopt when you have something that is placed on a shelf. And imagine that that shelf just says, my love partner. If that shelf was occupied or is still occupied, right, at least mentally, you have somebody else on that shelf. You won't be able to put anybody else on it. And so for a lot of us who have that model in our minds present, you really need to kind of clean that shell before you're able to put somebody else there. There is nothing wrong in having a quick relationship, right? Or a quick sex from my perspective. And for you to actually get there, right? And understand that you are attractive. You are being loved. People really want you and spend time with you you still need to follow some basic fundamental advice. So one, and which is probably most important, is that you need to take it easy. You shouldn't be really judging yourself a lot. You shouldn't be thinking what the other guy is thinking, because by the way, you know, it is a sign of low self-esteem when you're going on a date or putting yourself out there and you're thinking, oh, what is this other person thinking about me? You shouldn't be doing this. You should be a happy, flirty, pretty, and very good looking, very good smelling woman who is out there and who knows her value. And, you know, if somebody doesn't like you, doesn't want you, this is fine. You know, the world doesn't start with them and the world doesn't end with them. You're going to be able to find a man who is going to appreciate you for who you are. But in order to do this, you still need to do a certain few fundamental things. So first of all, you need to appear, dress very well. And this is one of the common misconceptions. You know, I had women come to a date with me without having washed their hair, for example. They would smell real weird. You know, they were cooking something. This is a complete turn down. You could be awesome. You could be just a great conversationalist. You could be very interesting. And this is your guy. He would want to spend time with you. But you know what? You just screwed it up. Reason why is because you kind of appear as if you kind of put yourself in a hurry just to get out the door. You should spend time because you know what? This comes across. Me as a person, seeing that somebody had invested time in themselves, making themselves pretty for me because they're coming to a date with me. I'm thinking, wow, that woman had thought about me. I mean, she thought about herself, right? Like to kind of make her pretty. But I would think that she thought about me because she's coming to a date with me. This is such a turn on. This is so great. And so you need to be thinking that you need to look and smell and appear great, right? Like as great as you can. And I mean, definitely wash your hair and do your nails, right? Now, having said that, second thing, you really need to appear flirty and you need to appear light and pretty. And this, this needs to be this, you know, kind of fun engagement, right? Like it doesn't need to be, what is your work? How much money do you make? Do you have kids? Do you, do you want to have more kids? It's like, I go to dates a lot, and these are the questions that are really like, they look like a job interview for crying out loud, guys, right? We're trying to basically see if there is like little chemistry here. How much money I am making or could be making or you could be sharing with me and do I own real estate property? Doesn't really come to that level of conversation. We're just trying to see if we like each other. You're not like my bank account, and not my real estate, 
But do we like each other at a very basic fundamental level? You're just having coffee with me like with a little chocolate pastry. Why are you asking me about my bank account? I mean, kids are fine, right? You know, we can enjoy a joke or two. But seriously, you know, this is, this is an example of what you really should try and avoid uh, doing. Now, you should try and avoid having negative particles either in your conversation or in your online profile if you have one, if you are trying to do online dating. Reason why is because anything when you say don't, won't, couldn't, shouldn't, not in general, it's, uh, I understand, right? Like this is a filter where you're trying to say, I don't like smokers and I don't like Trump supporters and I don't like uh, men with kids and this and that, I get it. The problem is that when you say that, that reflects negatively on you because any such negative particle is sounding to the other person very negatively. What you should say is, I really like Biden. If, if you want to say that, really, I don't know why you are saying this, uh, to be completely honest, because again, we're trying to be flirty here, right? And so a message about, I don't know, where kangaroos are banned in the United States from the viewpoint of being kept in the house, I think is great. But the message about Trump versus Biden and like Black Lives Matter, I think is not a good statement, right? No matter what our apps um, want to show us, like this is not a political platform or any other platform. This is a platform to have fun and be flirty. And if you want to talk about BLM, Trump, Biden and everything else, there are other places, but please, not here, right? Let's be flirty and let's enjoy the time with each other, not try to kind of butt heads, right? Now, probably the biggest advice I have for you for the date and engagement with another person in general, trust your gut. Your gut is everything. You had a lot of kind of thoughts for coming to this date. If something feels wrong, whatever it is, trust your gut. Don't try to calculate it with your brain. Rely on your subconscious. Your subconscious is going to tell you whether this is the guy you could go all the way to wherever, for instance, having sex, right? Like on that very evening, which again, I think is completely fine, but you just need to feel safe. If you're feeling safe, then you should do whatever you want to do. If you are not feeling safe, for whatever reason, you don't need an explanation. You just walk. You just say, thank you. It was a great evening. I need to go. And I think what is very important, and again, lots of questions around this, is how the sex would go. Would it be fine? Would it be fun? Would I enjoy it? I haven't had sex with like anybody but my husband, but even he, you know, it wasn't in like a couple years. I get it. Again, you should be extremely light about it. Just take it for my word. The first sex with pretty much anybody isn't going to spark like a um, New Year's salute, right? It won't be. It won't be anything that will kind of blow your mind. Neither for you nor for him. You are still going to learn a lot about each other, and so it's okay, right? You should basically come out of this saying that I liked it. I liked the way he touched me. I liked the way he looked at me. I liked the way he kissed me. And then, you know, if something went not exactly right and you kind of didn't ask the right question at the right time, whatever, it's also fine. You will have another time with him if he likes it and you like it. And I think this is what you should be thinking about, right? I want to get pleasure and fun and have fun in this moment. And then I will decide whatever is next, I will decide next. I will decide whether I want another date with him or not, and whether I want to spend a whole life with him or not. And by the way, he's going to do exactly the same. And you shouldn't be putting all these constraints on you and kind of overloading your brain with a lot of this processing that actually is completely inconsequential because you know what? This prevents you from having fun. You should be having fun on your date. And this is your objective. So take it, dress well, smell well, 
wear some aphrodisiac and enjoy it. You ought to enjoy it. This is the time and place to enjoy it. You are great, you are awesome, you are happy, and you will enjoy it. Keep saying it to yourself, and you will enjoy it. Thank you.